On that subject, by the way, it has been incredible in the truest sense of the word to hear people, senators and even candidates for president who claim to be, as Justice Scalia surely was, constitutional originalists or textualists, willfully ignore the plain meaning of the Constitution in favor of this so-called, quote, standard practice. That's not a form of constitutional interpretation with which I'm familiar, but it seems to be guiding the majority leader and the chairman of the Judiciary Committee away from the text they claim to revere. They wrote together in the Washington Post, quote, it is today the American people rather than a lame duck president whose priorities and policies they just rejected in the most recent national election who should be afforded the opportunity to replace Justice Scalia, end quote. I have a chart, uh, Mr. President. I took uh, the actual words, I, I, I redlined the actual words of the Constitution with their claim, the claim of the majority leader and the chairman of the Judiciary Committee. You can see they bear no relationship to one another. In fact, only seven words, the words that are the black words, remain from the original constitutional text, including in those seven words a conjunction, a definite article, and a preposition, otherwise known as and, the, and of.